Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here, and I'll tell you what, we are at the Bart Star Plaza, the yes. Bart Star Plaza tailgate party, and when you're in Green Bay for the big game, you got a tailgate with the pros. And speaking of pros, we're grilling with all natural golden plump chicken today. That's right, so stay tuned, we'll be right back grilling up a victory. Oh yeah, it's not like that. C C K T O R Y. Why? Because we love you. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. All natural golden plump chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. Cherry Delight, a Door County original. Renard's Cheese of Door County, get your squeak on. The Oneida Nation and the new Oneida Market. Crisp Kraut, the world's finest sauerkraut, proudly produced in Wisconsin for over a century. And by UW Provision, the meat people, and so much more. Hey folks, welcome back to the Bart Star Plaza. Beautiful day. Bar, beautiful day, we got Lambeau Field coming behind us. A little foggy out today, but I guarantee you, in just a little bit, you're gonna see Lambeau Field. It's a great time here at the tailgate party. And let me tell you, we're gonna do some great uh, Golden Plump chicken. Yes, we are, it's gonna be good. <laughs> They're gonna go to goldenplump.com, goldenplump.com. Now, a uh, chicken at a tailgate party, so 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 many uses. Well, it is, and you're seeing, you know, we're getting away from the burgers and the brat routine and everything else. I mean, people, chicken is where it's at. A lot of people eat, consuming a lot more chicken than they ever have in the past. That's right. Now, don't forget, though, Golden Plump has those great bratwurst yes, and beautiful brown chicken. I love it. I really uh, like the let's, start out, let's start out with the chicken thighs. Let's uh, get our protection chicken on. Chicken thighs, probably one of my favorite things to do on the grill. Isn't that the uh, truth? Yeah, I mean, we do a lot of uh, catering, and we do chicken thighs. A lot of people think they're doing the chicken breasts. I love doing chicken breasts, too. But we'll do chicken thighs. Yep. And the one thing that I like about chicken thighs is that they've got a little bit more fat on them, not that much, 6% fat. But uh, what we're gonna do on these chicken thighs is take them out, take them out of the package here. Very easy to do. So I got it with these gloves on. Take the, you're not gonna do the routine, are you? Blowing I'm just gonna up. do the old chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. I'll well, help you out. All right, thank you. But look at these thighs. All right, nice juicy chicken thighs. Nice, good size. These are great for sandwiches. We're gonna use these also later on for different things. But oh, we're gonna do some pizzas on the yeah, grill. We're yeah, gonna do some uh, uh, beautiful hash brown pizzas yeah. on the grill. But look at these. Look at the nice size of these. The color is absolutely beautiful, but we're talking chicken thighs. These yep. aren't chicken breasts. We're gonna oil them first. It, now, the main reason that I'm oiling these why? is- Why? Because it's actually gonna brown it up very nicely. It's not gonna stick to the grates. We're gonna, a lot of questions all the time of people going, how come my food sticks to the grates? That's right. A lot of times you might want to oil the grates first or make sure that your meat product is oiled. It's very important on that, especially with the, on these chicken thighs here. Very important. Medium Third, direct heat on the grill. Medium direct heat, not a high heat. A lot of people have a, a consistency of high, high heat, nice medium. Tendency. If you're grilling with on charcoal, Make sure that it's good and gray. One layer of coals all the time. Well, you're doing a good job. Flip them so, babies over. Let's yeah. season the other all side. Right, get the other side on there. Now we're gonna do some wonderful pizzas with these. We're gonna do the little, uh, uh, some wonderful other great little. I got yeah. a little secret for you. Coming up. <laughs> you're not gonna tell yeah. me the secret. We got the grill fired up on a higher heat. He's yeah. gonna sear those a couple minutes on yep. both sides and turn them down to a medium heat. Right. Get right. Rid of these the really don't take that long to do or anything either. So. All right. I gotta so what get, are you gonna do? Well, you know something. We're gonna marinate some chicken wings. Uh, golden plump chicken wings, delicious to do. Uh, we're gonna marinate these, I'd love to say, for overnight before the big game. Well, it's a good time way to do it. You it gotta certainly everything is. It's all prepared. But today we're just gonna get these nice and seasoned up a little bit and I'm gonna put these on the grill. So we're gonna open up our package of Golden Plump Chicken Wings. We've got a nice little Ziploc baggie, a little baggie here. I'm gonna throw those wings right inside that baggie. Now we marinate not to tenderize because we're gonna grill these chicken wings at a nice medium direct heat and they should brown up just gorgeously oh. directly on the grates of the grill. Now people love it. People would write into us all the time and say, "You got to do things more hot. You got to season oh, yeah. things spice up. Spice it up. Spice up. Which is true. Which so, is true. So we want an acid in there. And what better acid than apple cider vinegar? Oh, I use it quite a bit. I'm a big apple cider vinegar person. It's very economical too. It certainly oh, is. Yeah. Now there's a, this is a habanero sauce that also has a vinegar base in there. So I'm going to dump a whole bunch of habanero sauce Ooh. in there. Uh, we're going to add the red pepper flakes. There you go. There you go. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> a little garlic pepper blend yeah. inside of there. Now, uh, here's, a, here's a great thing. I'm gonna add a little more vinegar in there because yep. 
I got a lot of stuff inside well, of that. Well, it does. The vinegar really adds a really good flavor. It really does. A lot of people have never used apple cider vinegar. They get it at the store, right, next to the white vinegar. They love the flavor. Now, and this is what I do I'm love. leaving my gloves on when I cut these up. But uh, jalapeno peppers, now I'm going to take my little mitts off. We're going to throw a little bit of oil in here because marinades have an acid to break down the tissues of the meat. That's right. So all those gorgeous hot flavorizers work in and an oil to seal those all in. Now I'm just going to take and shake those up a little bit. Come on, shake it, shake it. And you know, I'd let those marinate two to eight hours. Yeah. And what a great little hot sauce. What a great little way to do uh, beautiful golden plump chicken wings on the grill. And you can see that the flavor is just going to just just eat right into the chicken and wings. And it's something they're getting, you know, bag it. Bag your meal if you're going, going to the game. That's right. You got that in the bag. It's the same thing with those chicken thighs if you wanted to that I done. I can go ahead and go ahead and place those right in a bag. You can season them. You could even do a teriyaki sauce if you'd like to. We're just sort of playing with a little bit of our olive oil of Grandma Hazel's. But uh, nice now, smoke. Now, right on there, the Phoenix sir. Grill here that we're cooking on today, I've got a higher heat. Now, I really shouldn't, and don't practice what we preach. Oh, don't do that. Just watch us, <laughs> yeah, but don't pr practice, practice what, what we, preach. we preach, but don't practice what we do, I guess yeah. is the term. Now, I'm just going to dump those directly on the all grates right. of the grill. Good. You can see I've got the pepper flakes all over the top of those, and I'm going to spread those out with the jalapenos because we're going to get a nice mm. little aroma going out here in the tailgate area. And we're gonna cook these for about 25 minutes or so. And by the end of the show, by the third segment, we're gonna show you some gorgeous chicken wings done to perfection with a little bit of heat. Oh, a lot of heat, heat if we'd have left them marinate overnight. Oh, that's true. Makes a really big difference on that. Now, I'll tell you what, sometimes when Mad Dog and Merrill are here, uh, you need a shovel. <laughs> Thank goodness we only have one today. You usually got to bring two or three shovels. And in the Midwest, oh. you need a shovel. But this well, one's seen its do? better days. You're not going to play that thing, are you? <laughs> you know what we're going to do? Is we're going to show you how to do a, a, a great little shish kebab set. We're going to do some shish oh, kebabs coming up. So stay grill. tuned. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this old shovel and make it useful. Are you really? Yep, You're yeah. going to finally use this shovel? Go get shoveling, buddy. Okay, thanks. We'll be right thanks. back. <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by the Oneida Nation and Cherry Delight. It's spring in Door County and cherry blossoms are blooming, painting the peninsula's orchards with beautiful color. When in Door County, visit Country Ovens and taste the wonderful fruit that these blossoms provide. Our Door County original Cherry Delights are healthy, delicious, and capture the full flavor of Montmorency cherries. Sample our incredible chocolate-covered cherry delights, natural tart cherry juice, and tasty toppings perfect for cooking and baking. Located in Forceville, just 30 minutes from Green Bay. In the shadow of Lambeau Field, walk the path of legends, a historical tribute to the legacy of Green Bay football. Just down the road, discover more of what the Oneida Nation has to offer. Nestled atop one of the highest peaks in Brown County, just outside Green Bay, Thornberry Creek offers championship golf at its finest. 27 holes challenge all abilities and ages, making Thornberry a golf course everyone can enjoy. Seguli, welcome to the Oneida Nation. Wisconsin grillers can find Mad Dog and Merrill's signature spices, sauces, and marinades at these fine retailers. Happy grilling! Marathon Feed has been serving central Wisconsin for over 30 years. Visit our new retail store offering the same great products as well as pet food and supplies, indoor and outdoor home decor, and we're your local Green Mountain Grill dealer. We're also your full service Purina dealer and carry food for every kind of pet or wild animal. Basically, if it needs to eat, we can feed it, including you. Get breakfast or lunch at The Scoop, our in-store restaurant with daily specials, homemade soups, and delicious ice cream. Marathon Feed, just south of Marathon on Highway 107. If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Fire up the grill with Mad Dog and Merrill and pop open an ice cold sun drop soda this summer. Oh, uh, drop it. Drop it, Merrill. Oh. Yeah, it's my sun drop. Mm. Mm. Oh. I dropped it and it tastes great. Dang it, you dropped my sun drop. Oh, I'm sorry. Want a bite of my burger? No, I want a sun drop, the perfect summer soda to drop. Drop by your local grocery or convenience store and pick up some sun drop. MHP, Phoenix, and Profire grills used on today's show are available at these fine retailers. Go to ModernHomeProducts.com to find a dealer near you. 
Well, welcome back to the Bart Star Plaza tailgate party. And I'll tell you what, an hour from now, this oh. place is going to be jam-packed. Uh, no, it's, we're early. Yeah. We're always early. If and and everybody's going to be dressed like this, and it's a great party here. And you always got to take a long golden plump chicken when you're at a tailgate party because it is great to do. But uh, Lambeau Field sits behind us here. Yes. The party's about ready to begin at the Bart Star Plaza here. And whenever you're in the area, bring your golden plump chicken, bring your grills, do a little tailgating like we're doing here today. Now I've got a bunch of things to do. So Boy, I, you sure do. Let's, let's, let's do a little preview. Yeah, let's do. Honest to goodness, look at those Play gorgeous those. chicken wings just to grilling back there. Those golden plump chicken wings are just goldenly plump. Uh, and the thighs are delicious. Those are browning up. Those make great sandwiches. Oh, they do. They're absolutely excellent. If you want, you can do those way, you know, cook them up now, even put them in a pan and put them back on the grill if you want. That's absolutely right. But we're going to cool these down a little bit. We're going to show you how to make some wonderful pizzas with them in just a little bit. So those are cooking away. Things are looking good. Uh, last night I did some nice little paddles. I love did doing uh, paddles on the grill. Oh, I know you're a paddle type of guy. And and here's what you do. You take a uh, you take a little protection. You take All a right. good sharp knife. I'm gonna use your knife because I'm gonna cut some onions. All right, go ahead. Uh, with with my other knife over here. So we're gonna do some nice little paddles on the grill. Take a golden plump chicken breast, and you usually get only about three paddles out of a breast. But honest to goodness, what a great way to do it. And while I, oh good. Yeah, I'll give you that back just All for right. a second or two. Take a wooden skewer. And all you simply do is take one end of the of the, uh, the meat, and if you've never skewered them before, it's pretty simple to do. It's just a zigzag motion in and out, carefully not to get yourself a little oh, bit too much. Yeah, I've been there before, too. And there's a nice little paddle. We're going to do one more here. Okay. And you can oil these up and season them up and put them on the grill. And I actually took some of our teriyaki, our Nature's Garden marinade. I'll run and grab it when Merrill gets to his kebabs here right. in a minute. But I actually took and I marinated ours overnight right on the sticks, right in the Ziploc baggies. I'll show you how to do that in They're a minute. They're getting something that you can do way ahead of time, before the game. Look at I go, I got four of them. Yeah, How'd yeah, you do that? Yeah, and so I got four beautiful paddles that I'm gonna set the grill for a medium direct heat. I'm gonna try to keep heat away from my sticks uh, so the heat source is gonna be over the meat product itself right. and turn them for about five, six minutes on both sides. And I'm gonna show you what to do with these. Because they're teriyaki marinated, I'm gonna do something neat in just a second. But I'm gonna let you talk about and cut your breast up. And I'm gonna go grab one of our teriyaki marinades so I can All show right. how to marinate them. Yep, go ahead, go okay, ahead. I'll be right back, Hey, folks. I'll be right here, I'll be right here. Gonna be doing some shish kebabs today. We've talked about this many, many times. Uh, if you're using wooden skewers, make sure you soak them in water or oil first. That's right. So, you know, that way that they won't completely burn up on you or anything. But doing some chicken breast today, uh, we got the colors all involved, which I like on there. Obviously, we got some green pepper, some yellow zucchini, gold. some purple Gold onion. zucchini. I'm sorry, gold, gold. <laughs> That's gold. I'm rich. Gold zucchini. We've got some purple onions, white onions, very simple, shish kebabs. We've got a nice golden plump chicken breast. I'm gonna cut this right in half here. Now these are big chunks, you know no, why? Because <laughs> Mad Dog told me, because I usually do little chunks, but for this young guy today, I'm doing big chunks. Well, because we're gonna do a shish kebab set, you can That's make bigger right. chunks. Exactly, exactly. I'm not arguing with you whatsoever. You're completely right on that. So we got some nice good chunks of some chicken breasts here. And I'm gonna do about four of them off of these. Ah, three off of that one. I know, people love chicken. They do, they do. You know, what's sort of funny is, we had one guy give us a call one time, because how come you guys use these plastic gloves? Are you trying to tell me that I have to use plastic gloves? No, I'm not telling you I don't have to use plastic gloves. I like using plastic gloves. That's all there is to it. And very simple. Now, if you'd like, you could go ahead and marinate all the chicken and the vegetables all in a bag with some oil in there, or like our Italian harvest. But today, what I'm going to do is basically go ahead and probably brush a little more oil on the end. Sure, sounds good. I'll help you out. Okay, so anyway, I want to place these babies on there. There again, remember what we talked about the skewers? You don't want to poke yourself because it isn't fun. So I'm going to skewer these, sir. I'll let you go ahead and do what you have to do over there. That sounds good. There we they, go. Uh, they, they, there's the paddles that we marinate, uh, that we already marinated. And I know you know how to marinate, folks. But we marinate, once again, not to tenderize, but to give a little character pay, flavor and personality to cuts of meat. So I'm gonna take my paddles. You can put these in a glass dish. I like to carefully put them in a little baggie here so it's just all throwaway then when you're done. Right, exactly. Take a nice teriyaki marinade. I say teriyaki today, and you can do any flavor you want, but we're gonna do a little, uh, a little Asian breading on them. Okay. And people don't understand that you can do beautiful breadings 
uh, on cuts of meat and put them on the grill. And at the grocery store, I found uh, panko crumbs, but I found whole wheat. They're 100% okay. whole wheat to go with 100% all natural golden plump chicken. So I'm going to take my panko crumbs, and these are bread crumb. Okay. You can do flouring if you want to, but I'm going to take my bread crumbs. Look at that beautiful whole wheat ones. Isn't that great? That's whole wheat oh, bread crumbs. I know. No, I never had. That's I great. I haven't either. It's great. That's what I like about doing television is we're doing things that uh, I never knew that they made wheat ones. Now, the, this happens to be, and we have some great spices ourselves, this happens to be a, a simply organic steak okay. sauce. It's all organic. It's got herbs and spices in there. Let me go get that going there. So I'm going to season my breadcrumbs really, really nice. All right. And we're going to spread those out a little bit. Now I'm going to take my little teriyaki paddles okay. and just simply dip them in that little breadcrumbs and help right. them out there a little bit there. One by one, I've got the grill set for medium direct heat, and I saved a little bit of room for my wings, and I'm gonna get it going on these. Let me just put those in there. You know, that's another thing is, you know, feel free oh. to experiment with things when doing it on the grill. Here we're doing- I've never the done this crumbs. before. No, no, I mean, <laughs> that's the fun thing. You'll see a lot of things that we'll do even on the shows that we've never done before. But the breading, the flavor on the breading is very good. Don't be afraid, just jump right into it. Like we oh, got the pink man. Oh, look Once again, those. look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh. Take a picture. We should have that on television. We should have that on television. I'm going to put my little paddles there, and we're going to take these. I'll leave the thighs on here. Yeah, I'm going to turn this down there. a little there's bit now of, because we got to practice be what we preach. Now, one last thing, and I know this is getting to be a long little segment here, but yeah. here, but here's a neat thing. Now, I didn't use this knife here, so I can use this knife. Okay. And I've never d done this either. Be what are you going to do? You well, scare me. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to serve. He's got to cut an onion, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's terrible. <laughs> Oh, I'm all right. I'm going to cut some nice big slices. And you good folks in Minnesota, you're going to appreciate this one because this is purple and white. So we're going to do some beautiful onions on the grill. Hold that there for you. Yeah. And a lot of times you can take and you can skewer these if you want to. But we're going to leave these nice thick white onions together like that. Now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of oil over the top of those on both sides because I'll show you why. Okay. I know why. I'm not going to say nothing. No, don't say nothing. I won't. I'll be quiet. Because this is a great way to do it. So we got these coated with a nice little oil. I could use my teriyaki if you want to. And I'm using the, the breadcrumbs over here. And you probably should use separate breadcrumbs. I know. Somebody's got to write in. But, yep. we're but you know what? I'm going to cook there, these to 152 degrees and we're not yeah. going to have a problem. Yeah. So we're going to take and bread our little onion slices. And I'm going to put those on with my bread paddles or with my chicken or my whole chicken or my sure. nice chicken thighs or my drumsticks or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to bread these. See if we got room. We'll, we'll make, make room. room. We'll make room. So we're going to brown these up on both sides about the same time as our paddles. Mm. And they should come out just delicious on the grill. Boy. So we're going to be right back. We're going to show you the end result. Oh my goodness. I know. Hold I know. On, I was on. thinking, we got, there's more. Ladies there's and gentlemen, more, don't folks. get up and get a cup of coffee or Hold on, let's move that over there. Right, I'm sorry to do that to you. No, that's all right. And, and I can't even begin to do this right now. There's too much, there's not enough time in this world. Oh, we got time. Do it's, we? A, it's our show. We can do whatever okay, we want to. Okay, let me to, put that right? down. Put Man, that color. stuff's looking great. Because you wanted to do this. Okay, here's a, here. Oh, you, I thought you were going to play it. No, shish kebab sets are great. Shish yes. kebab sets are wonderful because they help hold the shish kebabs up off the grates of the grill. So here's a great way to do it. Now, I've already used this one a couple of times. <laughs> I've already used this one a couple of times. And, and I could yes, use my has. shovel that we showed earlier in the show, but I need that this fall. So I'm going to take, and I'm only going to make one of these. Here. Hang on, folks. So you take an old wooden dowel, an old shovel, an old rake. Oh, 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 hold on now, hold all on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hold on, I'm, off, I'm off to camera. All this trouble. Where'd he go? Where'd no, he go, come folks? Come here, come over. Don't be afraid. Here we are. Okay. Uh, take a couple wooden dowels like that, and so easy to do. I've got some aluminum foil. Let me just grab some aluminum yep. foil back here. There, I'll relax. Okay. And all you simply do is make two of these. You put them on the grill here, on the grill over here, and Meryl, if you come this way here. I will. We'll do a dough. -si -do. I did two of them already, and here's those gorgeous chicken uh, uh, kebabs that Meryl should oil. Yep. Thank you. And season. Yep. Set the grill for indirect method of cooking because we're going to slow cook these like on the Phoenix grill. The heat source is around the outer edge, no direct heat underneath. 
25, 30 minutes. Shish kebabs come out perfect each and every time. You can use the large chunks of peppers, of onions, of zucchini, whatever you want to use, of whole beautiful golden plump chicken. You can use large sections because we're slow cooking them. We are, we are. So come along and grill with the pros. Mad Dog and Merrill, golden plump chicken, Yep. tailgate, I'm coming along. I'm right. Next the time we're doing coming back, we're gonna do some wonderful pizzas on the grill. I That's love gonna pizza. amaze you. It's gonna be delicious. That's like a lot it. of stuff to do Holy here, man. Holy cow! Thanks for reminding me of oil and flavor. You know that's the stick. Well, we had them up off the grates, but then it dried out. Hey, what a little bit dry. Oil, that's okay. Oil, don't that's okay. We'll be right back, folks. Me again. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you in part by Renard's Cheese of Door County and Golden Plump Chicken. Hi, I'm Lexanne with GNP Company, the people behind Golden Plump Chicken. Hunger is increasing in our local communities and it can really happen to anyone. Our company, along with Midwest Grilling, proudly supports food shelves throughout the Midwest. You can help by contacting your local food shelf and asking them how you can donate your time or much needed food items. Together, we can make a difference. A public service message from the GNP Company and Mad Dog and Merrill. Grillers throughout Minnesota can buy Mad Dog and Merrill's signature spices, sauces, and marinades at these participating stores. Happy grilling! That's right, I'm drinking milk right out of the carton. I live life on my own terms. I visited Wapaka County. I battled the white water of the Wolf River, biked bucolic backcountry roads, caught bass on sky blue lakes, perused shops, hither, thither, and yon. Oh, oh, what a piece of mud! Visit wapakacounty.com. Get clicking, start living. I'd rather hear the call of Wapaka County. Fire up that grill. Mad Dog and Merrill prefer to grill select meat from UW Provision, purveyors of fine quality meat. Ask your local butcher if their meat is from UW Provision, the meat people, and so much more. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here, the Sultans of Sears. The gurus of the grill. The hosts of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Spice up your next cookout with Mad Dog and Merrill's thick, rich barbecue sauces, seasonings, and marinades. Don't forget the works. Sauerkraut, onion, ketchup, and a hint of mustard all in one bottle. The works for sausage, burgers, chicken, hot dogs, and more. The works. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill products. Available at a store near you. Happy grilling, folks. All right, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. It's oh, yeah. Golden Plump Day here at the Packer Tailgate Party. And I'll tell you what, we're going to take some, uh, these are beautiful. These are uh, uh, Golden Home Pizza Crust. They're whole wheat. We're going to plop one on the countertop here. These are our chicken thighs that we browned up. Yes. We're going to do a nice little healthy I pizza. I like it. I like it. Little beautiful rich olive oil over the center of that. Something easy to do. How about sir? some fresh herbs? Herbs. I'm gonna use some uh, some fresh mint today. Now a lot of people don't think about mint. Why is the oregano? Yep. Mint. We're doing something a little bit different. Fresh herbs are absolutely great. So we're building a little bit of base on our pizza. So we're gonna put some garlic over the top of that. And then now we're gonna add our cheese. Grated Good mozzarella cheese. cheese. You can do the feta cheese routine if you want to, but just a nice little low-fat mozzarella cheese over the top. Now it's a free for all, all but, right. but colors do matter. Yes, they do. That's one thing he's very good. He's a very colorful person where I'm not. You know, I just throw this stuff together. So a little but bit of the, green pepper right, over the I got top. A little bit of gold. Did you see that? Gold. Green gold. and gold for the zucchini. You got that. For you good Minnesota fans over there, we got purple and white. All right. Get the white. Speaking Get the of white. white. Speaking of white, I got a little bit. What was that? Yeah, nothing. Okay. A little white there for also on the top. Not very much, but a little bit of white. Now okay. we got the tomato slices over yep, the top yep, of yep. that for a little bit of color. And a little bit of black olives. And now the, the star of the show, too. we took up those beautiful chicken thighs. Yes. So the star of the show is chicken over the top. Beautiful golden plump chicken thighs over the top. We're going to take and we're going to slide this baby. 
mm. onto a heated pizza stone. And we're going to come tough. back and we're going to cook that pizza for about 15, 20 minutes or so. We'll be back to wrap this baby up and taste that mm. pizza. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Alcam Creamery. Following World War II, Cameron Peckham and Al Pulvermacher formed Alcam Creamery in Richland Center, Wisconsin. It's been nearly 70 years and many things have changed, but their passion for quality, taste, and excellence has not. We do one thing at Alcam, we make butter, and we do that very, very well. Whether it's in quarters, solids, whipped, or hand rolled, butter is an Alcam tradition in which you can taste the difference. Fire up the grill with Mad Dog and Merrill and pop open an ice cold sun dropped soda this summer. Oh, uh, drop it. Drop it, Merrill. Oh. That's my sun drop. Mm. Mm. Oh. I dropped it and it tastes great. Dang it, you dropped my sun drop. Oh, I'm sorry. Want a bite of my burger? No, I want a sun drop, the perfect summer soda to drop. Drop by your local grocery or convenience store and pick up some sun drop. Domestic abuse can happen to anyone, yet the problem is often overlooked, excused, or denied. Abuse is never okay, and you are not alone. My name is Jennifer, and I'm a domestic abuse survivor. Your safety, as well as the ones close to you, is a top priority, and no one should ever live in fear of a person they love. If you or someone you know is being abused or in danger, call the Domestic Violence Hotline. A public service from Cherry Delight and Mad Dog and Merrill. Fire up that grill. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here, the Sultans of Sear. The gurus of the grill. The hosts of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Spice up your next cookout with Mad Dog and Merrill's thick, rich barbecue sauces, seasonings, and marinades. Don't forget the works. Sauerkraut, onion, ketchup, and a hint of mustard all in one bottle. The works for sausage, burgers, chicken, hot dogs, and more. The works. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill products. Available at a store near you. Happy grilling, folks. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, it's golden plump day at yeah. the part at the Bart Star Plaza tailgate party. Should we slide that pizza? I'm up? ready, sir. I'm ready. Go for it. Uh, Ooh, does that look good? Hold on now, folks. That looks there very good. Is. Good job, sir. Isn't that pizza delicious to do on the grill? It just shows you that golden plump chicken is so versatile. You can cook just about anything to the gorgeous paddles that yep. we did. Beautiful pizzas. We did those nice chicken. Don't forget the kebabs. Oh, no. I put away already for us later on, okay? Sure, thank you. You're a good man. You're a good man. But I'm ready to dig into those wings. Well, I mean, what a nice presentation. I'll tell you, you did a wonderful job on there. Going to be good. I'm going to go, go for a wing. Still? Yeah, I'll, let's I'll go, go for, for the wing. Go for a wing. Okay. Happy All tailgating, right, folks, part. for the big game, no matter where you are. Oh, life's man, good. Oh, life's Ooh, good. Look at that. They're going to be hot now. Fire up. 